So you don't want the uh, album to drop it? Yeah. First, I was scared to release it because I felt like it was just my second full album, and then it's like personal. But then I also want to make sure that it's like perfect, and that I'm not missing anything. And then COVID came, it pushed it back even longer. The f COVID ain't been out in two. But well, we was planning on releasing it during the time we got locked down. Remember we had to release the album release party? Baby, that's the personal I'm talking about. The album, we need it. My wife definitely lost her motivation because of this COVID, because we planned on dropping the CD uh, right when it came out. We was doing a lot of surprise get, uh, events, pop-ups. It just went right down, you know what I'm saying? And she went down with it. I'm on her ass, though, and I'm going to take a blame for it, because I wasn't knowing it as tough as I should be. It's, when it comes to music, for me, it's just so personal. I just feel like maybe I should just keep it for myself, but I'm going to have to get over this real soon because I spent thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on this album. With all that being said, all the stuff you just named that's getting in the way of the music, guess what else is about to be in the way? What? Charlie and Sierra. And it's like a really big deal. I feel like a wedding, man. Exactly. So now I have to hold off just a little bit longer until this can say go. How do you feel about Charlie turning 15? I don't have feelings. My baby, Charlie, how do I feel about you growing up? You know something, man? I gotta take my emotions out of it.